Guys, people always comment and say, Timmy, your shirts are always stained. It's disgusting. They're not stained. I have dry eye at a young age. It's a lot, honestly. And when I use eye drops, I kind of like wipe them on my shirt. So it's, it is just fake tears. If you ever see little droplets, that's what they are. Let me just start the video by saying, pita pita. <laughs> little Caesars has a brand new menu item and I'm so pumped about it. So first of all, this is not sponsored. It is gonna sound sponsored because I'm talking about like their whole promotion and all that stuff, but it's not. So Little Caesars have partnered with the Batman. Yes, the brand new movie coming out <laughs> with Robert Pattinson, Lonnie. And they have released the Batman Calzone. Now, first things first, I tried the crazy Calzone um, a couple like months ago. It's a hybrid between a pizza and a calzone. It's very interesting. I was actually destroyed by it. It slayed me so hardcore. So I'm so pumped to try this new Batman calzone. So um, the main difference I think is that it is shaped like a bat. <laughs> I don't really get the shape. To me, it doesn't really look like a bat. I feel like, let me see the picture again. It looks more like a snow angel. <laughs> It really looks like a snow angel with a bunch of pepperonis on it. So this info is from chewboom.com. It says the Batman calzone features a bat shaped buttery tasting calzone crust filled with garlic white sauce, cheese, and julienne pepperonis. Fancy julienne. Combined with a pepperoni pizza and served with a side of the brand's signature crazy sauce. The price is $7.99 and it came out today. So I am on time. I'm on point as per usual, well, most days. So the Batman, very pumped about this movie. Now I am a much bigger Marvel fan than I am a DC fan. Marvel is my second biggest passion after taste testing. I have a whole action figure Marvel collection. Um, I got into Marvel because of Captain Marvel in 2019. And now I read so many comics. I've, I've seen all the movies probably like 10 times each. I'm not joking. It is a lifestyle. Okay, you might not agree with my lifestyle, but support me, okay? But I'm not one of those Marvel fans that is like, DC sucks. I'm a firm believer in you can enjoy anything that you want to. You don't have to pick a side. I think that's very dumb. Um, and I'm very pumped to see the Batman. It looks great. It has Robert Pattinson. It has um, Zoe Kravitz, Queen. She looks like an amazing Catwoman. I am super pumped for it. And I think it's super cool that they did a um, collaboration with Little Caesars because it's so unexpected. And so like Batman and, and Little Caesars, pizza, pizza, Batman, Batman, but I'm ready to eat it. Oh, also I did get a dessert. So I have been trying to get these um, M&M &M cookie dough brownie things from Little Caesars every time that I've done a taste test there, but they're always not available. Today they were available. So I'm taste testing those today. They look incredible. I'm so pumped about it. The Batman calzone does come in two flavors, cheese and pepperoni. I got both, of course. And a lot of people really love to hate on Little Caesars because they're, you know, like cheap pizza. Yes, they are cheap pizza, but they're good cheap pizza. They don't taste like horrible, like they taste good. So let's take a look at everything. But first guys, subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout for brand new fast food reviews, just like this one and full menu taste test, guys. It's a lot of fun here. I have a huge full menu taste test coming this Saturday. It may be my longest video ever, but we'll see if they do. So, okay. I see the brownie things. Okay. Wait, are they cooked? Do I have to bake this? Okay, no, wait, it is cooked. I can see like the brownie texture, but I'm, I'm just confused. These, these don't look as good as the picture. And also I thought it was like a whole tray of them. It's just four of them. How much did I pay for this? This was $3.69. Okay, I guess that's pretty cheap. I don't know why, I just expected like a full tray. I just did. Um, and then we have the crazy sauces, one for each pizza. Now let's take a look at the pizzas, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm scared, I'm nervous. Let's see. It's stuck. Uh, wow! It looks a lot like um the other crazy calzone. Let me put a, a picture here, but these flaps here are just opened. So I guess if you turn it this way, it looks like the bat, right? Wait, no, like this, yeah, like that. That is the bat symbol because that's like the wings, I guess, right? So yeah, I, <laughs> it's a lot like the other one, just opened. It's like, hey girl. And then we have the cheese. Oh my gosh, that's why it was stuck. There's a seal. There's a seal. Whatever, I'm just gonna rip it, okay. The cheese! Oh, that looks great too. This one's kind of diagonal. That's the bad symbol. Honestly, it looks like Batman made it himself in his cave. He was like, Okay, so first things first, let's get that thumbnail. 
I'm gonna use the pepperoni pizza because of course it's prettier. Pepperonis just have a glow to them. <laughs> a glow that gave me the gout ones. Shall we talk about that again? Probably not. We all know that, that myth, that legend, that story. Okay, let's pose. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this flying rodent. <laughs> Are they rodents, bats? I don't know. Okay, first of all, let's try the cheese Batman calzone. Let's first take a slice of the actual pizza and then we will try the calzone section. Okay, so this is the pizza. Looks very nice. So hungry. Mm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I feel like there's not enough sauce today. Crazy sauce time. Let's try it out. <laughs> Let's see. Mmm. Let's try the crust. I think it's just normal crust. Dip that in here. Mm-hmm. My chair is screaming. Okay, so, so far, the pizza tastes like average cheese pizza. Tastes like Little Caesars. The crust is a little chewy, and overall, it's a little dry. So I am glad that it comes with this crazy sauce. But, mm, the flavor is great. It has a simple, classic, cheap, cheese pizza flavor. You can't go wrong with that. But yeah, the crust is a bit chewy and dry. Like that is an issue for me. So, okay. I am gonna give the pizza portion by itself, I think a 5.5 out of 10. I think so. I think that's fair. Now let's try the calzone section. Now, um, this is filled with cheese and um, garlic white sauce, I think. It does not have the pepperonis, of course, because it is cheese flavor. Let's try it. Mm. Oh! oh, yes. Mmm. That's the inside. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. It gets a little dry in the corners, like it gets a little empty. So that sucks, but mm, I need a napkin. That calzone filling is like next level delicious. The garlic white sauce, it's like creamy yet buttery. Think like Alfredo sauce, but like really strong Alfredo sauce. And then there's like stretchy cheese mixed into that. It's just like a blob of cheesy heaven in your mouth. It's so good. But yes, I wish that the calzone section was filled more. It is pretty empty towards um, the back corners, which is kind of sad. I just want more of that filling, if that makes sense, right? So I am gonna give the cheese calzone section, um, I think an eight out of 10. If it was more full, it would be a 10 out of 10. It's really delicious. And for some reason, the crust gets a bit um, fluffier in the calzone section. I don't know if it's like thicker or what, but it gets it gets fluffier for sure. Oh, so yummy. Let's try the pepperoni. Let me see a little pair. Please don't let me get the gal. <laughs> I promise I won't eat 60 pepperonis again. That was one time. This is just the pizza section first. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Let's try it. Mm. Say what you want about Little Caesars. They have amazing pepperonis. So much flavor. Perfectly thin. Not too thin. Mm. Once again, it is kind of dry, but the pepperoni distracts from it. <laughs> from the dryness. Let's try the pepperoni with the um, crazy sauce. I'm really liking the crazy sauce today. It has a, like a lot of moisture, a lot of flavor. So good. Mm. 
I'm sorry, I'm like in a daze. Let's taste that crust. Mmm, crispy. Crispy edges, look at that. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. So, once again, it's dry, but it's okay. Because the pepperoni is so good. And it has so much flavor. They're so crispy. I don't even mind that much, but I do have to take some points off for the dryness though, just to be fair, even though I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, and with the crazy sauce, it's just even better. Like the crazy sauce is very cold, which is kind of like an issue, but the flavor is very refreshing. It has a lot of seasonings in it. I wouldn't call it crazy sauce, but I would call it flavor, flavor sauce, <laughs> flavor town. You know what? Let me try a centerpiece of this pizza. Let go, calzone. Mmm. The center has more sauce in it. And the crust is a bit thinner, so it's not as dry. The center is it. I'm gonna give the pepperonis pizza section by itself an eight out of 10. It isn't perfect, but it's delicious to me, honestly. Now it's time for the calzone pepperoni. That rhymed. This is how it looks. Oh, I'm ready. Oh my God, there's the julienne pepperonis. I'm, I'm so ready. Let's try it. One thing to point out before I say how delicious this is, cause it is, the crust has a bit too much butter on it and it made it taste kind of like popcorn, like movie theater popcorn, which is not great. But this filling with the pepperonis, it's next level. But see, it gets kind of dry in the corners. Mmm, that filling, the julienne pepperoni. So yeah, other than the dryness, once again, of, of like the corners of the crust and that overly butter popcorn flavor, it's so good. Like the filling is just incredible. Like I said, it is like the best, most salty Alfredo sauce ever. And then the pepperonis just elevate it, like even more than the cheese one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm getting full. And I love that they added the garlic sauce because the cheese isn't just cheese. It isn't like a stuffed crust where it's just like that like thick cheese, which I love that. I do love that. It's much more of a liquidy, gooey um, texture. And it really makes it taste totally different. Um, now these do taste just like the crazy calzone. It's just a different shape. So if you've had that, you know what this tastes like exactly. But I love the crazy calzone and I love this. So I am gonna give the calzone section of the pizza I think a nine out of 10. One point off for the popcorniness and the dryness, but it's so delicious, guys. Like, look at this, wait, look. Look how beautiful this like pocket is. Oh my God, it's opening. Oh my God. Wow, now that is a bad signal. So, last but not least, we have dessert. We have the M&M cookie dough brownie concoction. Okay, okay so that's them. Looks pretty good. The cookie dough is completely soft. It's like a frosting. Like, look at this. See that? It's totally soft and like sticky. Very interesting. And this is a... I'm dripping, sorry. Um, I don't know. When you order something that has brownies and cookie dough in the title, you expect something better and richer. This just tastes very mediocre, kind of like a packaged dessert, which it is a packaged dessert. <laughs> it was in plastic. The brownie itself is not rich at all. It tastes kind of like lackluster chocolate cake. It needs just more chocolate, maybe some chocolate chips like melted in there or something. It's just not rich. Poo, Poo what are you doing? He's eating something. 
What are you doing? What are you up to? I think it was like a hair or something. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. So the brownie is very weak. And then the cookie dough frosting stuff, it's like a liquid. Um, it does have a cookie dough flavor, but because of the texture, it doesn't give you the cookie dough experience. It just tastes like cookie dough flavored frosting. Now, the M&Ms are great. <laughs> Can't go wrong with those. Oh my God. There's a green M&M, guys. Love these M&Ms. Oh my God. Yeah. That's disappointing. These honestly could be so good. Maybe if, if um, they were like um, freshly baked there, that might taste better with a different recipe and a whole different moment, you know? These aren't really it. So I'm gonna give these, I think a five out of 10. They could be so much better. I mean, listen, it is a dessert. It gets the job done, but it isn't particularly good. I'm not the particularly ethical person, but I am fair. Anyways, that was such a fun taste test. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below, do you plan to try the Batman calzone? And if you do, tell me all of your thoughts. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you gonna try these? But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout, for more fast food taste tests and full menu um, taste tests also. So I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Oh, bye.